All right, back at Legacy Studios talking to State Representative Jim Christiana running on the Republican ticket, the upcoming primary Tuesday for Senate. And he's running against Lou Barletti, but this guy has got a lot of things on his mind that he wants to correct when he gets to Washington. Something that a lot of people are concerned about, and I happen to be one of them because I'm knocking on the door, Social Security is bankrupt. What can we do to help Social Security stay strong and be around for more than just my generation, Jim? Well, we, well first step is we got to have members of Congress that won't raid the fund for their pet projects. You know, whenever the, 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 the fund is solvent or we're getting closer to being solvent, um, we've got people that, that in Congress who steal $1.5 trillion out of the Social Security fund uh, to spend on other budgetary things. And for me, it's, 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 it's incumbent upon the federal government to honor its promise to senior citizens and those that uh, are near retirement age. Uh, the second thing is we've got to stop making the same promise for every generation. Mm. You know, my son, who's two years old, is going to his generation is going to have an average life expectancy into its 80s or 90s. And we don't have to make him the same promise. We just have to give them time to prepare for whatever that uh, that new promise is. And I think we've got to we've got to start making those changes now so that future generations can prepare uh, for uh, receiving a Social Security benefit later on in life. And um, I don't think, you know, the problem that I see with Social Security and the politicians in Washington is that any time you talk about changing, you know, the, the, the benefit structure in the future, they talk about privatization and they, and they say that you're going to take Social Security away from senior citizens. That's ridiculous. I don't have no interest in doing that, but I do want to stop making the same promises in, in, the, in the future. All right, something else. This is the future. The young people of our country, 8, 9, and 10% interest being charged by the federal government on student loans. That has to stop, Jim. Oh, it, it, it should, it's fraudulent. I mean, it's fraudulent that um, the federal government is charging 10% interest on student loans, um, and a bachelor's degree no longer puts you on a path to success. You know, there's everywhere I go, in every corner of Pennsylvania, I talk mm. to employers who are looking for people to make forty, fifty thousand dollars right out of high school as a welder or a plumber or an electrician. We've got to we've got to empower them um, and 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 rebrand and remarket uh, the building trades in, in Pennsylvania because there is a tremendous opportunity for, for your kids and your grandkids and my kids to make forty five fifty thousand dollars right out of high school. No debt. And and Rob they'll never be unemployed. And instead of sending kids to college and shackling them with debt why would we not give them that opportunity to have a, a family sustaining job for the rest of their life? And, and, and I'm telling you, I'm talking to employers in every pocket of Pennsylvania, not just on the cracker plant uh, site where they're, they're, they're in need of welders and, and nailers. They're all over the Commonwealth. And so we've got to, uh, we've got to make that option available. And we've got to stop ch charging Americans 10% interest for the federal government. It's, it's outrageous. I want to give him one more segment here tonight. And the reason being is because he's got so much done in the nine years that he's been in Harrisburg. Penwatch, a website that shows every dollar the state spends. He's the guy behind it. Cynicism is why he got into politics for the first time many years ago. And that's why he wants to go to Washington. And he's all about progress. We'll have more with Jim Christiana next from Legacy Studios in East Liverpool. Good evening.